everyone, it's Jessica, and today I have an updated what's in my purse video, and um, so let's just dig right in. No point in uh, beating around the bush here. Yeah. So the purse that I'm currently carrying is this Steve Madden bag. I actually bought at Burlington Coat Factory um, quite a while ago, and I've been using it for a long time because I just love it. And every once in a while, I'll switch back to my Michael Kors bag that... Um, I think my original What's in My Purse video, that's what I had. I, no, I know that I did. So, something just made a really scary noise and my heart literally just dropped to my feet. Did you guys hear that or see something fall? That was seriously really scary. Okay. I'm like on edge today. I don't know. It just started snowing again. And I know I talk about snow all the time, but that is my life right now. And this has been a really rough couple of days really um and i'll probably talk about that in a second but anyway okay so um this is the bag i love it and i i remember posting when i first um was thinking about buying this i took a picture on instagram and asked if you guys thought i should buy it and a lot of you said yes and some people were like it looks really cheap i'm like it's not though i mean it i really love it it might look that way but I don't think it does, and I am just frankly in love with it. It's got the shoulder strap if you um, want it like a crossbody. Of course, I never use it that way, but I love the gold pieces. And now I've had this for months and months, and it hasn't shown like any wear and tear really at all. So I'm really impressed, and I really love the colors. So the outside pocket is usually where I keep my keys and my phone, but I am filming with my phone. And my keys are currently locked in my car. My car is currently broken down. It was literally, my car broke down. Luckily, I was like at a library getting children's books, of course, because children's books are my life as a teacher. And I, my car wouldn't start, and so then I'm dealing with it the way I needed to deal with it, calling, towing, etc. And in the shuffle of things, my keys got locked in the car. <laughs> literally locked in the car. Luckily, I had my purse with me, so I at least had all my other stuff. So it, this has been a complete nightmare of the past few days. So I'm trying to deal with this and... So, if I seem just crazy, it's because I am. Um, okay, so I, that's where I usually keep in in my back pocket. That's usually what's in there. Nothing's in there right now. Um, okay, so on the inside, if you want to take a peek in, I've got lots of things in there. Um, I'm a decently organized person for the most part, so it usually is disorganized. I threw away some gum wrappers that were in there, but other than that... Um, so we'll start in one of like the side pockets. I've got my a bobby pin that is magnetized to it. I've got my name tag for teaching. And then I've got just like a pack of gum. And then, by the way, Big Lots, if you have one near you, clearly my favorite store in the universe, sells gum for like 25 cents a pack. And they're like full packs of them. Like this has 14 pieces. So I always, if I see they're like 25 cents, I'll buy like literally like 10 or 15. Just buy a ton and I don't have to buy them again for months and months and months. And I always have a pad of paper with me because you never know when you need to write stuff down. I've got notes from babysitting and all kinds of stuff. So uh, they sell these like packs of a few at Dollar Store. Gosh, you can get them anywhere. I always like having uh, paper with me though. I also have my iPad, which you've seen. Let me know if you want to see like a what's on my iPad video. I've never even watched those. I always see them. But I've had some people request it, so if you're actually curious, let me know, because I don't, I don't know. I've never even watched them, so I guess I should watch one of those videos and decide how I, if I like it or not, but. Okay, so I also have my contacts case. It's just a little one my boyfriend actually bought for me, and it's quite convenient to have with you. I also have my sunglasses case, which I got this for like five bucks at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's perfect because it's really big, so even if you have really rockin' humongous sunglasses, they'll still fit in here. And I think these uh, were, if I remember right, they were Oscar de la Renta, but I got a good deal on them at TJ Maxx, I am sure. Perfect! And I love that because then you're not buying a million pairs of sunglasses all the time. You've always got a good pair that are in a hard case so they're not getting all scratched up and beat up in your purse. I also always have, well I usually have more snacks than this in my purse because Half of the time, I don't have enough time to pack a lunch lunch, so I'm just throwing banana, apple, granola bar, you know what I mean? Just whatever I can, just throw in my purse. This is the Nature, it's clearly, it's all crumbs now, of course. Nature Valley Apple Crisp. I love these, but they're crumbs all over the place. But these are so good with coffee. If you drink your coffee, especially if you drink it black, and then there's like a the little bit of sweetness in this, it's so good together. Even if you don't drink it black, but I, I love the Nature Valley bars. I also have my regular glasses case. I ordered this online a long time ago, and it's 
mostly a hard case, but I just thought it was cute and really simple. So I got my glasses in there. And if you saw my vlog, you saw me for the first time with my glasses. I never wear them. Um, I really just don't really ever wear them. This is where I keep my feminine products. And what I love about this, it was like $3 at Walmart near the, you know, feminine products. And they're so perfect. And you can hold quite a bit in here. And I just think it's cute. And what a cute way to store these things you know you don't want them just out and about just throughout your purse and then if you drop your purse and they fly out it's so embarrassing it is for me anyway so I was really excited about that find again I like I told you I always keep paper with me but this is since I'm in school right now my last semester I keep my assignments in here so for each day I just put the date at the top and then what's due that day next page is the next day what is due that day that way I can just look and see okay on Tuesday, these four assignments are due, you know. It's real small and simple and pretty sturdy. I got a good deal on these at Meyer, But I really like things like this for, um, as an agenda. Uh, let's see. I've got my wallet. This is a Vince Camuto, Camuto I don't even know how to say it. wallet, which I love. And I think I showed it in my packing video, maybe. It's quite honestly a mess. <laughs> I've got just receipts from Christmas and... Just all kinds of random things. I was out of town recently. Receipts from that. Just, I need to clean this out. But I really do love it. I love that I can just grab it and take it and put my phone in it. And then I'm good to go if I don't want to carry on my big purse. I at least have those essentials. So that is really, really nice about the size. And I got this at TJ Maxx. I also have... Boop, boop. Oh, my! I always have my phone charger with me. Because you never know when you need to charge your phone. It's just nice to have it in case you need it. Then the last thing in my purse is this bag, which is where I carry pretty much all of my other things. I like having things more in bags rather than all separate or in a bunch of little bags just because it's nice to know that everything's kind of more contained in there. At least it is for me mentally. So this is an Isaac Mizrahi bag that I got, again, at TJ Maxx for, I think, $5.99. Really, really inexpensive. It is super cute. You can wipe it clean. It's got cute gold hardware with pink little M's on it. I just, I love this bag. And it, it's really slender. I have actually a lot in here, but it really keeps it pretty small. If you're able to find this online, send me the link, because I am curious, because I've had a lot of people asking. I'll have to look too. But a lot of people have been asking, and I haven't taken the time to look yet, but this is just so cute. I love this bag. So it just magnetized um, snap there, and then it's two separate parts, which I love. I've got all my kind of beauty to go essentials and I can't wait to show you guys because I, I love it. I love everything in here. The first really, really important thing to me is to have perfume with me because if I've gone to the gym, if I've gone, you know, if you've just been outside for a while, you know how sometimes you have that like outside smell, anything where you just want to feel fresh. I use this Flow Atomizer. They also have Travelos, another brand. You can get all kinds of different brands of little perfume atomizers. And it's so easy because on one side you unscrew it and you literally, it's all squishy and there's instructions. You spray your perfume into it for about a minute, if that, and then you screw it uh, shut. <laughs> um, and then it's in here and you can tell like where the level of the, it is. This right now, actually, oh, oh it's Misty Ore, which I love. Um, <laughs> I just ate it though. But it's perfect. It sprays right the right amount. Perfect for travel. That way you don't have to carry around glass bottles. You don't have to worry about finding a roll-on version of it. You can just get this and you can switch it out. And I love it. It was like 10 bucks. And I, th I bought a black version for my boyfriend. That's another good gift, ladies, for your significant other. I think that's a, a great one. Okay, I also have my Vanilla Bean Noel lotion, which I also want to use. I'm about to get a lot of smells going on here. I don't care. Uh, it's just, this is my favorite scent, if you don't know, but it's their Nourishing Hand Cream, and my friend Amy gave it to me, and I absolutely love it, and I love that it's just the perfect little travel size for this. I also have some lip products in this side. I have my Mintha Lip Shine. It's the C.O. Bigelow my sister got me for Christmas that I love. It's great in a pinch, too, if you have bad breath, and you don't have gum or mints or anything, or you can't brush your teeth, because it, it kind of gives the illusion that your breath smells good because it's so minty and you can even lick it and get some like in your mouth to get, you know, it's probably not good for you, but you could. I didn't have, so there's that. I also have my everyday favorite, my Revlon Colorburst Lacquer Balm in, what was it, Demure. It's just a really, really simple, really easy lip product. Just, it's the perfect color for my skin tone that I don't even need a mirror. I can just slop it on. 
And then I also have the MAC lipstick in Angel, which, again, an everyday color. I like to keep just normal. This one's more pink, though. Than that is a little more orangey, and this one's a little more pink, the MAC one. So I have MAC Angel with me at all times, at least right now, because it's so easy. Let me put all those back in there. And then on the other side, we've got uh, Palladio rice paper. This is my favorite thing. I end up using this every single day because inevitably I get oily or I'm just about to go somewhere else and I need to look semi-decent and I know maybe my picture's gonna be taken, you know, anything. This will mattify you like that. It apply, it soaks up the oil and gives you a little bit of powder, some of the rice powder, and it's just perfect. And this is so inexpensive. You can find it at Ulta, I think, sells Palladio and then also Palladio's website. I think it's like palladiobeauty.com or something similar. I love this stuff. I love it, I love it, and I love that there's powder infused into it so that way it it does both. It is, <laughs> I can't, I can't speak highly enough about this stuff. Another thing, I have a mirror, and I actually just recently got this at the semi-annual sale at Victoria's Secret. It was on clearance for like a dollar or two. Woo, blindy. But it's just cute. I just think it's cute. I really, that's really the main reason I bought it. But I actually do need a mirror on hand. It's nice to have. I also have eye drops, and this is something I never leave home without eye drops. These are just Murine brand. I don't even know if it's like, I mean, sure, it's a real brand, but I get this at the Dollar Tree. And I have very dry eyes, first of all. And I remember the first time I ever went to the eye doctor as an adult, the, um, my eye doctor said, have you been crying? I'm like, no. He's like, oh, well, you're, um, I don't know the technical terms, but your tear level is really low. I'm like, oh. So I came back like a week or two later to get like to check on the contacts, see how they were wearing. And he checked again. He said, yeah, they're really low. He said, I guess you just have really, really dry eyes is basically what he was telling me. I'm like, well, that's good to know. It explains why my eyes get really red pretty easily. Um, but this stuff is perfect. It's gentle. It's not like really drying. So I don't, I know it's probably not the best thing to use drops like this when you have contacts in, but I do. And my contacts have been fine. Um, but I'm sure they would probably last a little longer if I didn't. So I probably should find some eye drops that are good for contact lenses, that say safe for contact lenses. I should probably look into that. Anyway, but so far I've been okay, and they work pretty well. I also have hand sanitizer. This is the Winter Cranberry scent from Bath & Body Works that a friend gave me, and it just smells like heaven. It literally smells like heaven, and I just have to have hand sanitizer on me at all times. I go through this stuff so quickly. It's, it's kind of unreal. But I work with kids, so what can you do? I also have a really beat up nail file. I probably should replace it with one of my other ones. Um, but I really like to get the kind that have two different um, texture gradients just because it's nice kind of for smoothing or for shaping. But I always have one on hand because you never know. Speaking of, my nails are naked right now. You never know when you need to um, fix them. Ah, by the way, ah, it like itch burns. I burnt my cheek with my curling wand <laughs> today. I'm so dumb. I had like a bit of hair right here that was kind of like curled weird. So I was just taking it and just kind of putting the curling wand along it. You know what I mean? And it touched my skin. Ugh, it hurts so bad. And I, I haven't covered it or anything because it happened after I'd already done my makeup. So maybe it won't show up or maybe the makeup I'm wearing is just gonna cover it. I don't know. I have a pen and a pencil, but of course, you never know when you're gonna need them. And then one of my favorite tricks is Glitter nail polish. Here's why I carry it around with me. I carry it around with me because when you've got your nails painted and you get a chip that's really, really noticeable, maybe it's a dark color and it's just so noticeable and you're about to go out that night and you don't have time, or you're not even going to be able to go home before you go out that night, maybe it's a really important business dinner, maybe it's just a really important date, or who knows what it is, but you don't want that big chip and you're just like, ah, and you don't want to continually have to switch out having the polish that you're wearing in your purse at all times, which sometimes I do that, but I don't have time for all that. I switch my nail polish all the time. So this is just the one I happen to be carrying, but I always have some sort of glitter. This is the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Golden Rule, and it is just the prettiest. Oh, it's my favorite glitter polish. But what you can do is just put glitter polish over that nail. And then if you want, it could just be like an accent nail. And it's usually not that noticeable. Once you've done that, the chip is hardly noticeable. And then if you wanted, say it was this one, you could just do the same thing to the other one. And then you just have an accent nail, even though you didn't originally. You know what I mean? You can just do that as much as you need. And then, or you could just do your whole nails like that. And then they all match, even though really some have chips in them and nobody knows. One of my favorite tricks. So 
I figured I would share that with you guys. So I think that is everything that is in my purse. And yeah, I hope that was helpful. Maybe you learned some helpful tips. Please let me know below what some of your favorite little tips of things you like to keep in your purse for you for a quick fix. Because I'm always, I love things like this. And I love videos like this. So please let me know your best tips below. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon.